Alright guys, we're right back where we left off. Um, just seeing what they got weapon-wise here. Let's yoink that. We can't afford that. Alright, hey. yep, let's just... Hey. Actually, let's... Oh, that's only four. How much is it? 1800. Okay. Alright, yeah, we're right back where we left off, guys. Uh, we're just looting stuff. We need some press passes or something like that. I don't know where those would be. Necessarily. Um... Still some press passes, press passes. I'm not seeing any press passes, dog. Let me check this uh, front office. Maybe it's up there. Press passes. Let's do this shit. Hola, reporter Benevides. Press passes. <sighs> this is my shot, Danny. Got a shit hot song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. Easy, Talia. Keep it together, okay? You keep it together, Danny. Don't lose those passes. Meet me and Bicho in the Botanical Gardens parking lot, and don't go in without us. Okay. We'll go get that car again and fly it. Such a, such a weird thing to say, huh? Oh, hold on. Hold on. I forgot I did a thing. Here, guerrillera. I don't care. Uh, where is it? Right here. I forgot I started. Uh, why does it... It keeps resetting him. Like, I'll send him out to do it, and then it just resets it. I don't know why. It's pissing me off. They blew me up. I, if the button fucking worked when I clicked it, I wouldn't have blown up right there. It's so dumb. So it looks like you have to have a little bit of speed before you actually go into flight mode. Oh. 
Flying low is so faster than driving. I did not mean to go that fast in that parking spot. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you? Silvio Balboa Garden City. Urban Garden. But can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friends. So are we just gonna shoot her? Gracias or... for traveling so far to learn about Viviro, the Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture, impressive. Today, I am honored and excited I... to well, share with you the miracle of Viviro, a revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. Possible for the inside tour. You really make a reporter feel special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> it all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. <sighs> Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Sure. <clears throat> oh. Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, e exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> Excellent, a volunteer. Then, the fertilizer is working on the plant as well. This is the beginning of the Viviro process. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Ok, 
Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. Intimate. In Central Yara, our finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer fighting tobacco compound called Yarantine. Found only in Yaran tobacco. Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantine is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. Where'd the bitch go? I don't... Oh, there she is. Get balls. And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind the Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone. Enjoy the showroom and some of our finest yar and rom. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say, a sneak peek. <laughs> so peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Okay. Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. Neither do we, let's get in there. I told you to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. So, what now? Take it as it comes. We got this. Stay on your toes. Hold on, there's a crate back here. Special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? 
Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. And where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Oh, Jesus. Come on, let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Alright, back to see Anton. Hello? Okay, so that confirms the rumors that Diego is, in fact, her son. And I think that's the end of that region. So 11 is the max rank. Nope, never mind. 12 is. It might go higher than 12. I was going to say 11 is max because Esperanza didn't go up at all. I almost have all the base guns unlocked. Yeah, so our next mission is then we're going to do for Juan right now. Um, real quick, though, I'm actually going to swap this out. Um, for that. I just got to get to workbench real quick, though. I'm having a brain fart. Hola. Buena. De vuelta. Okay. Um... Armor piercing, basic suppressor. Equip that one. Oh, 
I didn't have... That's fine. We won't put it on for now. Let's check out the skins. All black. Classic, which looks sick. I'm gonna go with this classic one. Okay. Dead. Let me check Fuck yeah. if her uh, black market shop is still bugged. So in last episode I showed you guys that, that her black market shop didn't actually update and is now counting negative. And it's still doing it. Alright, let's head over here to talk to Juan. See what he has. It looks like it's going to be like, like a GTA type. A smuggle mission where you just drop shit out of a plane. It's kind of what it looks like. And a crazy orphan Clara pulled from a shipwreck. They actually boarded a navy. Get your. Ready. I'm coming one. It's about time. Need you to do some dead drops for the cause. You drop off the viviro, I pick up the profits. Who are the drops for? You try this? I took one for research, now I can't stop. Turn my piss purple. You want one? No. Who's paying us for the viviro, Juan? Before we slit Castillo's throat, we should ask for more flavors. It's the Yankees. Worse. CIA. The fucking CIA is in bed with Libertad? What's Clara think of this? Well, if she knew, I would hope it'd be something like, Thanks, Juan. I'm so happy to have guns to kill fascists named Castillo. Etc., etc. Freedom costs money. Clara doesn't ask. And I'll never tell. It's a private club. Just you, me... And lighthouses filled with Anton's candy. Clara needs to stay shiny for the people. You're protecting her. I'm not so sure I'm the only one looking out for Clara. Just remember, after La Revolución, she won't have time for a guerrilla like you. Just in case. That's the spirit, guerrilla. Okay. Hold on, did we get another mission? Yeah. Is it a main mission? Yeah. Uh, Maria Marquesa is dead. Yeah, it's on the news everywhere. What happened? Wasn't a plan. Fuck, I don't think there ever was a plan. Look, you and Tali are at the top of Anton's shit list. Watch your back. A lot of people are counting on you, Danny. We got a chance here. Word is Castillo has a defection problem. Who knows? He might even surrender. You are dreaming, Clara. Fuck yeah, I am. Damn, I have like... I can fast travel. Danny! I'm not trying to drive a boat like that. This shit would take way too long. But this one spawns a hell as a, yeah, it spawns a helicopter. I ever tell you the time I broke the deal between the Yankees and the Sinaloa cartel back in 89? If I say yes, I feel like you are still going to tell me. Fucking drug lords want to stash their cash in American real estate so they can launder it. Fifty million dollar deal, Danny. That's great, Juan. I even got them to throw in a few kilos of product. Sold it on the black market, but lost it all. How is this helping me right now? Man, I get lonely. Suerte. I get lonely. One down.
This is gonna take a little bit. This is a very boring mission. I don't know why I thought we were done with that region too. Claire never showed up to say, hey, good job. I don't know why I thought we were done. Dropped off. Okay, good. Hey, did I tell you about the time I brokered a deal for Gorbachev? I guess. You made the deal. Took a cut for yourself. Lost it in a dumb bet you can't even remember. I mean... Yes? I think this means we are family now. Nice. Rule 26. The enemy has just as much right to destroy you as you do to destroy them. That's true. Not wrong. I had hope for Clara. But I got you. You thought I wouldn't notice Libertad selling my Viviro to the Yankees? You're a dead man! When the Garillas arrested my family in 67, me, Papa, was dragged to this very cell. I was put in the cell next door. Thirteen. Like you, mijo. We used to talk every single night through this vent. I loved it. His voice taught me to be strong, to be a man. And then the Garillas came. Every day I'm in charge. Oh. Death. Ah. Crime by crime, piece by piece he paid to the Garillas. But we would still talk every single night. Until they took his tongue for his lies to Yara. Stop! Papa, stop this! Who is this girl here to you? Ah. I think we should skip a few steps, Raoul. Viva Libertad. Oh, damn. The attack. The Hotel Paraiso. Danny was there. You... You told me that you hid in the tunnel. Danny could have killed me. Could have given me to Libertad. We have no time for lies. I've stopped running. I've listened. I've learned. I've done everything you have asked. I will be El Presidente. Let Danny go. I am not a monster, Diego. <laughs> we will give them a chance. Uh. Bitch. It didn't even, like, blow up. It just... made fire. <laughs> Have to get the fuck out of here! Keep moving! 
moving, Donnie. Oh shit. Diego, not fucking right. Oh, fuck, I don't know where to go. Oh, I guess just this way. What the fuck? Let me get on this. Why? Let me get on it. There you go. Yeah, thanks, Juan, you dickhead. <laughs> Juan, we're burned. Castillo was waiting. He and his fucking general tried to kill me. Glad you made it. Not a fucking word. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. The kid, Diego, he saved my life. What? Shot Anton's general dead. Bingo. This is good. This is very good. We are playing 4D chess in space now, Danny. Fuck your 4D chess one. I just got my molars ripped out. Same thing happened to me back in the Congo. Except I did it to myself. Just chew in the front, like a rabbit. And Juan, let's leave Clara out of it. We got burned. That's all she needs to know. Clara's got enough to fucking deal with, let alone you was getting torn to pieces. Gracias. Alright, next mission. We'll go here and get the fine car. That was actually a pretty cool mission, for how short it was. Oh, well, we're dead. I don't understand how it works because once I hit triangle right I'm supposed to just land right and be able to fly it no it just blow up hi yeah yeah I don't understand how to fly this fucking thing. I just want to be able to get to the location. <laughs> it's all I want. Is there's no way I can just like get over there faster? I'm just gonna airdrop here. And just pull the wingsuit immediately. I should be able to get almost the whole way there. Ooh. 
This is nice, huh? Just calmly flying through the air at like a million miles an hour with nothing to protect us from hitting this mountain. I am speed. It's faster if I just run. I am still speed, dude, just not in a vehicle. Oh, oh, Danny! Come here, come here, come here! I thought. Mm. You might want to do this on the down road, Danny. There's a. Down there. Okay. Got you, broski. Shouldn't be that hard. As we speak. Paolo, what did you get yourself into? While her murderers are free, I will not rest. My forces are forces. All of Yara will not rest. Better take out that camera. This place is crawling with soldados. They must have been waiting for power. That camera needs to go. Where are you, Paolo? Fucking easy. Motherfucker. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe. But we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Should I just... I'm just gonna airdrop. And then it's a matter on which one we should go to. There's three different areas. Hey, Bicho! You got Paolo! You are a real Yaren hero! Shut up for a second. He's been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. A, a resort? W what does that mean? Is Paolo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho, I'll call you when I have him, okay? There's a lot of... Why would they take Paolo to a place like this? <laughs> Hostage. What? Just trying Run! to scare us. Nope, wrong one. Please! I need help! Yeah, I think it's the wrong one. There's not... There's no one here. No one ended up in one of those farms. 
Come on, Papa. This is the wrong resort. I'm running out of time. The one all the Paolo way north. better be here, or Bembe's a dead man. Better watch myself. Paolo! It's Danny! Paolo! Special forces. Of course. So confused. I thought he wasn't here. Oh, he is. Paolo! Paolo! Where is he? Over here? Oh shit, he's cutting into us. I love these new phones. They're so thin. Ah, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Vivero. It would have gone nowhere if I had created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240. What you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Me, motherfuckers. Uh, oh, uh, Come on, Karim, you're safe. You're with me now. Uh, they put something in me. Oh, God, he put something in me. Uh, 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 Fucking go. Oh, okay, okay. We meet there. Uh, 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 I don't know what's happening. Matias, need your help. Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. It was El fucking Doctor. He poisoned me. Need to get it out. Okay, you need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? A car. Need a car. <clears throat> Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matias. Come on. Danny, please take a moment and for science. Tell me how you feel. You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up. Where do I have to go? Just stay on this road. Up. Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. 
Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please. Fuck! You don't give a fuck about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Lita! No! This isn't real! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. How was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? Am I still going right away? Yeah. <laughs> Stop shooting at me, please. No, 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 no. Way to find us body shot. That was your big American dream. That's a terrible man. The Sorbel body shop has such a better ring to it. Alejo? You know what we're Pano says to me? He screams pity for me. I was supposed to be drowning in Yankee pussy. You weren't supposed to die. It, it all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, then? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. And they were going to kill us, too. I put the bullet went into my brain. I could still see them. Come on, we're almost there. Please, stop. Matias! Matias! Danny, you're next. Paolo, keep her steady. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to die together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife! I can feel, Danny. We got fucked up. Welcome back, idiot. Australia. You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. <sighs> now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Okay. Damn, so we're still not done with this region. This region's significantly longer than I thought it would be, to be honest. We'll keep going. We'll see how far we can get before the video ends. But this is significantly longer Good than luck. I thought it would be. At this stage, every guerrilla counts. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get quite a bit of this mission done. Highly doubt it, though. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll just end the episode here. Next episode will probably be pretty short. Uh, just finishing off this region and whatnot. But uh, if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace out, guys.